okay our today's session is uh, it's pretty basic a grid view and a drop down generally in my, in my previous videos what I have done is okay, like uh, you get the drop down and a grid view when you select a drop down I mean like this you get the values filtered out based on what you select right like I mean whatever values you choose based on that your grid view gets populated but in my previous videos I have done pretty basic I have used using the SQL data source I have done that but recently I have received a request that uh, from a guy that he kinda needed the whole thing needs to be done from the code behind okay so in this session we'll try to cover that okay so as you can see this is what I have this is uh, I mean as expected so basically when you load your page for the first time you see all the records but like as you select on and on so based on that the things get changed right so so as you can see I have my code and database and everything I have in place but we'll start from the scratch so what we'll do is I'll add I'll right click on the project, <coughs> I'll say add new item, under the data, I'll say SQL Server Database and I'll say this guy, this database, a Jigsaw Database, right? A pretty, just an example, nothing serious. Then it will prompt that if you like you can add the same thing to your uh, I mean like app data folder. Then double click on that, when you double click on that you can see on the left hand side is SQL Server jumps up right away then you add a new table very simple ID integer then you set this guy as a primary key I hope you can see it then quickly go to your full I mean identification identity specification double click say yes so ID will be incrementing automatically every next thing let's say we are using as uh, first name Okay, first name Watcher 50. Then we have last name again Watcher 50. So I got three fields. I guess that would be all. Let's name our table as TBL user. And it is done. Right click, show data. Now let's start filling data. Let's say now my Visual Studio. I'll say rock star. Then Jig so Panda City Rockpot City. I guess that's more than enough. Okay. So we have data, we have database and we got everything table in place. Now as you, next thing I want you to check out my web dot configuration file. If you check this file carefully, I have a section called as connection string. In connection string, I have a data str uh, database uh, string of my previous database which I made for the sample. So let's comment that out. Control KC. So this thing is commented. Next thing, what we'll do is I'll close the file. I'll, I will close this file and I'll show you some magic. What I'll do is this is my page on which we'll be doing a demo, right? So I'll simply drag my table from here and I'll drag it on my UI page now this is gonna take a while because my oh it came pretty quick I mean quickly then I'll choose something like a design template I'll choose professional I'll say okay say okay then I'll remove SQL data source I don't need it but I have a design at least so it looks pretty nice okay and the yeah and the magic which I wanted to show is like this is my web.config file right as you saw previously so the magic part is this connection string I haven't stopped the video I haven't done anything but Visual Studio what exactly done by the Visual Studio is it automatically adds the connection string as soon as you add your table from the server explorer to your design page it draws a grid view for you and apart from that it gives you a free SQL data source and apart from that it adds a connection string to your configuration file and it gives you a proper path that I mean like where exactly it maps right now our database is SQL Express it gives you a path where is it located and all right so that's it okay so now once we are done with that so our next job is to add a drop-down list so for drop-down list what we'll do is 
this is uh, page right so what I'll do is I'll say ASP drop down list and then ID is equal so I'll name this guy as DDL uh, users now I'll say run it equal to server control KD and I'll hit BR just you know I have two more VR. Okay, oh, something's wrong. Copy, paste, control KD, and let's check the design. Okay, now if you check the design, I got the my drop down box and this guy. Now, our next job is to bind this guy from the code behind, right? So, let's the coding start so in order to do that I'll go I mean there are plenty of ways you can do it and the latest way you can do it by the entity framework uh, in the previous day the people used to work with link to SQL and above that they used to work with pretty basic SQL command SQL connection stuff like that so I'll go with that I'll go with pretty basic okay because there are people they deal with these things and most of the times okay they don't work much with LinQ and entity framework so this is a basic idea which you guys generally use so I'll say SQL connection is equal to new SQL connection then I'll say configuration manager dot connection string now the connection string is a tricky part which I need to supply okay so as you can see the whole syntax goes like this one second let me drag so now where do I get this connection string so it says go to your web.config file find there's a section called as connection string where you have your connection string so there we are in configuration inside the configuration we are having a connection string inside of that we have a jigsaw connection string one so let's go here and supply a proper value okay control V so far so good so we have now our connection string in place right so next thing what we're gonna do is we're going to load data we'll make some function called as load data okay now this function is a very special function which will return a data set to me okay so I'll say this guy will return a data set to me then what I'll do is I'll write SQL adapter adapter something went wrong SQL command SQL SQL data sorry data adapter then I'll say adapt is equal to new SQL adapter then I'll write my query select star from TBL user then I'll, along with that I'll provide the connection object as well which I have created above okay so now I have my query adapter is ready next job is data set ds is equal to new data set so what I'm doing is I'm creating a new data set then adapter dot fill into the data set so my data set is fill and then simply I will return my ds okay so this is a method which returns a data set to me okay next thing I'll create okay now this thing we need to be very tricky now this thing I require when my page loads for the very first time so I'll check is my page is push back push back means I have done the push back but I said for the first time so I'll check the not condition then load data is something which I have created which is a private method so I'll remove this guy now I'll say load grid view okay load grid view and load users which is my drop down and which I'll uh, so I'll generate these two methods control dot and generate a new method so let's first load users this is pretty simple so as you can see this method gives me a data set of all the users right so what can I do is very simply I can say ddl users dot data source oh, hang on I'll say ddl users dot 
data source is equal to DS I'm sorry not DS it should be load data because load data is returning me a data set okay so I'm binding my data set right away to my dropdown then DDL users dot data text field should be my ID hold on I explain this part and DDL users dot text field I'm sorry data text field is equal to okay I need to check this guy now what I mean by this okay this is a little weird so when I say um, data text field data text field is a property which I'm going to show to my users that what exactly I'm going to do okay so first name is my property so which I'm going to show here so I'll write first name and ID is my data text field I mean based on which uh, my grid loads every time right so I'll detach the database for a while so my drop down is ready so let's run this thing and let's check how it performs so I'll remove load grid view right now because it's throwing an exception so as you can see whoops SQL connection object reference was not set okay okay so it is it was running default dot ASPX I'll make this guy the start page again where it broke down stop I gotta stop and I need to check what happened this should be a start page okay now let's run good view must have a skill okay 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 in my design when I designed the whole thing I made a mistake what I did was I did remove grid view uh, then source and source I need to remove columns unnecessary properties which I don't actually require control kitty and I need to remove almost everything I don't need control kitty now let's see how it performs let's check one more time stop and let's run one more time hopefully it works okay but thing is different here as you can see one two three four got bound correctly right so what okay data text will follow but this should be stop okay this should be one second uh, data value field okay so now when I run this as you can see I get all the names which I require so my drop down is pretty much ready and good to go fine so what I'll do is I think my video is pretty much used huge right now so in the next tutorial I will next session I will load the grid view and I'll do the changes which were expected thank you